this idea of global sea rise. In the worst case scenario, this part of North America will actually not be underwater. We live in a solar system where there is climate change and we, we learned about uh, global warming uh, from studying Venus with the, with the Magellan spacecraft in 1989, as I recall. Here's a man-made wake. These are not real waves. These are man-made waves. Um, does it really matter what causes the, the rapid climate change? We have to deal with it. And the conclusion really is that we need to spread out across the solar system in order to deal with it. And we need to burrow, uh, have partial uh, parts of our populations underground um, for not only planetary climate change, but space weather, uh, solar flares, uh, cosmic radiation, hypernova that can create gamma ray bursts that can corrupt the atmospheres of entire uh, solar systems that, so that your home sun ends up cooking uh, vegetation and animal life on the surface. So to me, solar system resilience is a concept that we need to develop, not is climate change happening or not and have humans created it? That's the wrong question. The right question is how do we survive in our solar system, including our own home planet? So with that question in mind, we will now go to my 3 by 3 Global Drills worksheet. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that this is a little different format of a worksheet uh, than what you've seen in the other videos. It's uh, The dimension is a little different because it's taken from my dissertation in uh, 2012. It's page 73, and I'll, I'll drop a link uh, if you would like to see the whole dissertation, the context in which I, I put this. But the dissertation was built around the 3x3 three three global drills uh, and the worksheet and really uh, interpersonal drills or team building concepts. Um, but in terms of an example of content that I gave, I did provide, uh, this is for the Sea Rise Challenge. And by the way, uh, you'll, you'll notice also that the uh, this is an exception to the problem set that you've also seen in other uh, videos on YouTube here that uh, this, this one issue, the global sea rise, uh, is not a, an extinction level event. I include it because it's a global exercise, if you will, uh, ongoing uh, intellectual exercise to transform our world so that it, it is more resilient to natural disasters under this concept of brutal universe. So the title of my dissertation was Prospects for Collaborative Power in a Brutal Universe. Um, you can read this yourself. Hopefully it's high definition enough on YouTube. Um, but basically it's about scaling down large-scale cities and moving them in. Uh, if we scale down our, our, uh, our global villages, not the global village idea, um, and integrate them with communication, and uh, space has a role in that with the satellite communications, and also the Earth observation satellites. So we all are operating on the same page. And here is one page that could be the same. Um, again, this, uh, this worksheet idea can be uh, calibrated for different usage. This is not a central planning model. It is a covering all bases model, to use a, a baseball uh, term. Um, baseball is global enough, right? So covering all bases uh, of the world or simply a, a nine-point checklist, maintenance checklist for the planet. We have, what is it, an 18 or more point inspection plan for vehicles. So if we can do that for vehicles, why can't we do that for our globe? And work in collaboration with ourselves, not redistribution, but collaboration, synergy, the team concept. So not collectivism, but synergism. There is a difference. Hope you see the difference. It's pretty critical to our survival that you see the difference.